Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Spock from the first of the newer Star Trek movies. I unfortunately don't have this guy's packaging, so we're just going to have to jump straight into the review. So this guy is a, a 12 inch or 1 6 scale figure, so he stands exactly 12 inches tall. And uh, for one of these figures, uh, I think they did a pretty nice job. When this guy was released, he wasn't uh, unbelievably expensive and I think for the price they did really capture the new design for the suit uh, and make a figure that uh, lo actually looks like the character uh, I think that's a very good likeness uh, to uh, what's his name Zachary Quinto so um, good job on that part and he does come with quite a few accessories the first one here is his uh, his gun and it does fit in his hands well. I just have the, the, you know, plastic tie from the uh, packaging on there just to keep it in his hand. Uh, but it does fit in his hand well, and I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice silver paint job, which I really like. His second accessory here is his uh, tricorder. Again, they did a nice job with it. And both of these accessories will fit onto the... Uh, appropriate pouches on his belt so I can slip that in there uh, let's see if I can do it on camera there we go and like I said both do fit in the belt and his last accessory is a base that does look like the uh, pin on his chest uh, you can't clip it onto your shirt or anything uh, so I that would have been kind of cool I guess but it does have a peg uh, so you can peg it into his foot here uh, the only thing I would have really liked is for the base to be a little bit bigger. Um, it will hold him up, uh, but it's a little bit small, so I wish it was a little bit bigger, so you had some more posing options. Uh, but it does work, so I can't complain. Uh, as far as articulation goes, it's pretty good, again, for the figure of its price range. He's got a ball peg at the base of the neck which lets his head kind of move around and you can swivel it side to side, look up, down, so it works well. He's got ball hinge shoulders that swivel 360. They're a little bit inhibited by the shirt, so you're not going to get full range of motion, uh, but it's, it's good enough where uh, most poses you'll be able to do. He's got uh, ball hinged elbows that swivel. Again, they would go 360, but the shirt is kind of in the way. He's got swivel wrists. He's got a diaphragm joint that I can't really see, uh, but it mainly works as a swivel. You're not going to really have him do too much. I guess it kind of lets him lean forward and back a little bit, uh, but it's not enough to really be useful. He's got, um, it's hard to see what he actually has. His hips will go forward and back and then also out to the side, so that's nice. Let's see, he's got hinged knees which give him a pretty good range of motion. And he's got swivel ankles. Uh, so overall, I mean, for a figure that was, I think he was less than $20 when I got him. Um, you know, he looks good. He definitely fills um, a space in a collection uh, for the new Star Trek figures. And I would say if you liked those movies, uh, definitely pick this guy up. I think there's a chance that he may still be at Toys R Us. Uh, because from what I remember, uh, these guys were on the shelves forever. They were not very popular. But uh, they're not bad figures. So if you like Star Trek, they're probably worth picking up. So uh, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I'll see you later.